Good morning, everybody. Today is day two, so we're gonna hop right into it. Got myself a cup of coffee, went to the media center, got everything taken care of. Today, I found out I actually missed a lot of the detailing products, so we're gonna head over there first and see what's happening over there, because you guys know I have a black car. Keeping it clean is like a number one priority, and it only lasts about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead, check it out, and see what's over there. All right, now we're walking into the booth. I didn't even go on this side, the whole North Hall the other day, so we're gonna check all these out. Already got some detailing. And we got a Mustang, so we're gonna check that out ASAP. This Mustang I've actually seen on Instagram and I commented he beat me to it because this was something similar I was gonna do to my car where it's a fade, but he did like the Falcon tire fade. He's got a full interior and it of course matches the color scheme. He's got the dark chrome on the back and then all to yellow. And he's also got the carbon fiber dash also from Dyna Performance. I got all that interior stuff coming in. The seats look really good. I like the road wire. This car is honestly really well put together. And if you guys want to follow him, it's 5 low on Instagram. Normally I'm not a fan of wide body Mustangs, but this one is actually really well put together. And I think that he did a really good job. I remember when he wrapped it, I was I was pretty jealous because he beat me to it. And this was exactly what I had in mind. I'll figure out a different design now after seeing it in person. Can't believe we missed this haul yesterday. It's seriously the haul of all restyling stuff. So it's like all the coatings, like vehicle coatings. Also got waxes, all the detailing products, and then all the wrap. I can't believe I missed this, but it was kind of tucked on the far left. And I started going right to the South Hall. We're gonna check in with all these brands and kind of see what's new in the technology of wraps and restyling. And then uh, maybe we'll work together on building a little custom wrap for the Mustang and then getting it all detailed with some ceramic spray or ceramic coating. That way it actually protects against some of the scratches. So I saw something over at Ceramic Pro that was pretty crazy. It was like 9H hardness and they like scratched the crap out of this black paint and wiped it off. If I can get that, my car would be looking a lot cleaner, a lot longer. 3D detailing Mustang is really sick. It's got a molded wide body, all black and lime green to match. I like the matte with the lime green outline on the roll call. Satin black roof. Also really cool, got the Brom like Venom seats I think these are, it looks really good. I really like how it's all put together and it's all very cohesive. So this one's actually kind of funny, this is Skosh. You guys always ask me what my car mount is in the car. It's really right there, so I'll go over there and show you guys what exactly I use. They have it, but it's similar to this one. So you just have this little thing that goes onto the car, usually it's 3M for mine. And then whenever you have that, once you have that, you have this little magnet mount and it sticks right on. So that's how I pretty much put this in my car. Don't have to worry about it. I'm thinking about getting one for the airlift controller as well. Jesse James is over there. This is probably the worst road to go down and this is the one I chose. Big mistake, but you know what? We're gonna just push through and we'll get past everybody. <laughs> We're in the outdoor section, which I really didn't get to yesterday. We're gonna see what's all out here. Super beautiful day. Couldn't be any better. It's not too, too hot. This one's really sick. I really like this wrap. It's kind of like the Cryptek camo. And they have it wrapped. It's a printed wrap. And it's got the headache wrap. Everyone's got stuff in the back of their bed, which is pretty freaking sick. <laughs> Backside. So this thing gets pretty freaking crazy. Let's see what's on the end. Oh, all right. Got a little e brake in there. Hope you guys can see that. Now, of course, because we're a Mustang based channel, we're going to check out a couple of the drift cars that are actually out there drifting. Von Gaten Jr. and Justin Pollock. They have their drift Mustangs right here. We also have the Raptor going pan in the back. This thing is the Pennzoil car. Our car, the Ready to Rock. Cobra Jet Manifold also has the blue coil covers, just like the Boss. And it looks like a standard Coyote, but I know there's some crazy internals on the inside of that. And this thing is absolutely insane. F-150 XLT with the wide body. Actually, no, these are just the RTR flares. RTR flares, RTR wheels. Five Recaros in here. Also has an e-brake. This thing's like a fully drift built F-150. <laughs> Maybe we'll just have to build an F-150 that's straight made for drifting. That's a wild Mustang. It's got a full carbon front clip. Drift set up with the carbon flares, Sparco seats. This thing's pretty insane. 
I'll drive this. I'll totally rip this around the track. Another massive F250, F350, F250. Really nice F150. It's got the 18 front end with the STX grille, which is the best grille Ford made. I wish all trucks had the option for this grille. Nice headlights, nice beefy tires, white. I really want a white truck for next. It's done very, very well. Tucking on rotiforms, carbon fiber side skirt. You got my shadow out here because we're in the sun. Red Recaro interior more rotiforms and of course the yellow brake calipers you know that's a final touch on all of these green one's mental because it's got full carbon front lip three-piece wheels the rotiforms with the red also has the red recaro interior yeah this thing is crazy i don't know if i'd go green on mine but the wheels and the fitment and the way it's so low sadistic did a really good job so good on you bud every single one of these SEMA trucks is just insane they're lifted like so far up that you can't even i don't know how you drive these things you can see all the trailing arms and all that this is really clean because it's just a simple two-tone car or truck built so it's got the chrome and black really good looking truck but i don't know how you drive this thing right behind me is v's for builds lamborghini that was actually ls swapped with twin turbos he made it to SEMA. hopefully you guys can kind of see the turbos right there also, it has the fender flares all around. This thing turned out really crazy. The biggest thing is the LS swap with the twin turbos out here at the Garrett booth. So this thing turned out really sick. Also, the only manual Huracan. Crazy, crazy car. He's over there doing interviews and stuff like that. But this thing is absolutely insane. This is another beautiful Mustang we have right here on HRE wheels, yellow bear brakes. Beautiful. It's a Boss 429 motor build. Clean engine bay, beautiful paint, really nice. I really, really like this. Manual, black and yellow shift knob if you see that. Also has the yellow and black dash with all the speedo. Brushed lips, it's like a, a tinted brush lip, Flowmaster. This thing is really, really nice. Oh man, full race car really. And honestly, again, I'm really wanting to build a resto mod and this is just making me want to do it even more. These things are really sick. So I talked about the electric Mustang yesterday, but now there's been more details released. It is actually the lithium and it's based on just a standard Mustang, but it's got the MT82 in it with the Mantic twin disc, which is exactly what's in my car. So this can hold all that torque, which it was rated, I think at a thousand torque. It does have the Mantic twin disc and a Ben Calamer stage three MT82 in it. So this thing is really clean. I want to do a little bit more time on it. Carbon fiber diffuser. Also again, just the fitment nice rear brakes i think those might be from the shelby so they retrofitted them onto this car i don't believe that's a run and driving car right now i think it's just the concept but it's looking like it's going to be coming out because ford's been pushing at that and they're pushing at the mach e which was sort of hinted and that's going to be more of the suv based one on the ford mustang look but this thing's pretty sick back over in the detailing section and then right now we're at the ceramic pro i kind of talked about it earlier but they have the demo i was talking about where they're scratching the black paint and this could basically be layered on top of your clear coat keep it nice and protected so i'm gonna have them show you the demo i saw that blew my mind basically it's this is the untreated section with just bare paint and regular clear coat this has our four layer of base coat and top coat uh, which adds hydrophobicity plus paint protection uh, in terms of building hardness on top of the paint so now instead of actually scratching your clear coat you're actually scratching away the coating which actually gives you sacrificial layers to be able to remove that so i'll show you right now with light surface scratches a transfer versus areas like this that don't have it you can't really remove the side that doesn't have any protection versus our coated side wipes away and that's the beauty of ceramic pro so as you guys may see when the light hits it there are some scratches in there this is not meant to be just like bulletproof paint this is meant to just protect you guys whenever you have a little extra layer of protection you don't have to worry about people rubbing up against your car maybe drying your car as much in case you get a little piece of dirt stuck in your rag so this is just a nice protectant. It's not supposed to be bulletproof, but as you can tell, it makes a big difference. Also invited me to 1016 Industries in one of their parties. So I'm at the security gate. Pretty crazy because you have to have clearance to get in. We'll see what it's like up there, but it should be pretty dope. The Urus actually came to us brand new and uh, we picked it up. It was originally white. So this one, we did a full carbon, forged carbon wide body kit on it. So all of these panels, are completely forged carbon. Uh, I want to show you guys in the light here. Yeah, I don't know if you light, can see. The light. If you can see that. Yeah. So these come full forged carbon uh, from 1016 Industries. So we we're able to install this entire kit. It's something like 60 pieces or something insane. Jesus. But anyway, um, we installed the, the full wide body kit, the hood, the full vinyl wrap, black top, um, the side. The, these rockers come in four pieces. 
Damn. Um, actually, yeah, four pieces each side, so eight, eight pieces total. And you can see we exposed all the forged carbon throughout. That's pretty sick. Just a yeah. little hint, just to remind them. Have exactly. On them. That's it. So, so we this is to... actually forged carbon up here yeah, too. So, but you but just show it. Exactly. We exposed it only on the ends. Okay. Um, just to kind of get a, a nice contrast going, you know? Yeah. Um, same thing. You got the rear spoiler. You got your rear deck spoiler, the full rear diffuser. Ooh, diffuser. Huge. Yeah. We also uh, lowered the car about two inches total, give or take. Oof. And then you can see the different color we did on, on these. These wheels actually came originally silver. They're for Veloc Design Works. Nice. Um, so we did the lips and gloss block. And we tried to do something special with the wheels to kind of give a give a nice contrast with the forged carbon and make it all pop. But it's, a, it's like a smoked brushed aluminum color, um, which we tinted. And then we did the gloss block. And then if you can see, some gold hardware. Oof. Bring kind it all of, together, baby. Exactly. In the show? Uh, yeah, so this is a part of 1016 Industries uh, unveil, and then they have this Huracan, uh, I believe from a different shop. They're ex they're using the forged carbon kit. I think that's one of the first ones to use a forged carbon kit, the same kit as this, Sick. Um, which is literally the newest design that they offer. But yeah. Nice. Hope you guys like it. Wrapping up day two, just had that little clip with Roscoe on his wide body kit for the Urus. Pretty sick. Was really nice. So thank you again, Roscoe, for inviting me up to that little suite. So that way we could talk about some business and stuff. Really cool. Always love talking to Roscoe. I just want to take a little second and thank you guys so much for your support. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here at SEMA. It's really awesome. I get to be here. It's a dream come true, honestly. And yeah, just I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and to help grow this YouTube channel. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, then please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.